servant is anointed his son my son to minister life unto us this morning and I believe that you are prepared <laughs> come and say I am prepared tell your neighbor I will receive today <laughs> it's gonna be great it's gonna be great Shout hallelujah. So join me as I invite here the servant of the living girl. The Lord's anointed. My son in the Lord. My brother in the Lord. Pastor Daniel. Hold on, sure. Let's give the Lord a shout. A shout of praise. A shout of praise. Amen. 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 Lima Ronia Baladabado Shekete Immortality Immortality Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Immortality Immortality Thank you Jesus Jesus Please not today Not today Thank <laughs> you. 
time there, that's the Lord speaking through that person to you. Please, just confess, please. Daniel, please. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. That is the word of the Lord unto us. Somebody shout, Hallelujah. to God now what's all this see just confess are, are you not tired of this torment hey, hey Jesus they, they be tormenting you since you want to expose yourself to more torment for how long do you want to lie to these people Daniel please get liberated please I'm begging you please into new men. When God designed the reign of a man, He did not design him to be mediocre. He designed him to be greater. And if, as a human being, you are not great, you are nothing. Then the priest, they are coming. They are coming to torment us. He see, you don't need this prayer. I don't need it either. Then your please just confess. See, it doesn't bite. Just confess. Please, I'm begging you. Daniel, there's no time. Oh my God, Daniel, 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 please, 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 please. What am I doing? Somebody say, I will fulfill divine purpose. I will fulfill divine mandate. Come on, talk to the Lord. Pray, pray. He that covers his sin shall not prosper. But why are signs always been following me? Why? Why am I dealt with on a long gone issue? Why now, Jesus? Why? Now, when we look at the formation of a man, we look at the three components that form a man. The spirit, the soul, and the body. Somebody says spirit, soul, and body. Somebody says spirit, soul, and body. Now, when we look at the spirit of a man, it is a channel to receive from God and dissipate to everyone that is around you. That are meant to be impacted by the grace of God in your life. Impacted by the glory of God made, made manifest in your life. When we look at the soul, the soul is the consciousness of man. Now, the soul area of man has a lot of emotions. It is the crux of emotions. Somebody say emotions. So which means you can know something by the spirit. to silence me. Hear what God is saying. He loves you and this is where you must confess your sins. It's to be commanded to the voice of God. Eh? You have made the decision you had. That's why you cannot hear from him. See, he has departed from you. He has departed. Daniel, please. I have been tortured by your sins. Please confess, please. Get thee behind me, Satan. I have a ministration to turn around. No! Daniel, no! You have a sin to confess. Daniel! After today, I'll stop finally. You will never stop until you confess today. If not, you will silence me totally and you'll be separated from your maker. Jesus. Confess. Jesus. Confess. I can't do this. Daniel, if you do this, I promise you, your life will be a living testimony to the glory of God. It is the end that matters. So don't look. Don't look up to Jesus and look up, look up to him for strength to do his will. Daniel. Little will be done, Lord. Daniel, 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 we're running out of time. I can't do this. 
Daniel, I thought you wanted to do it. I thought you wanted to confess. Now they are coming for me. They are coming for me again. The Lord is my light and salvation. Daddy, there is no light in you. There is no light in you. You are living in darkness. You are living in darkness. Daniel, Daniel. Should I turn on the AC, sir? Sir. Very well, we can go now. Pastor, are you fine? Pastor. Why is the engine not starting? I, I don't know, I don't know. Whatever was wrong. I, I don't know, I don't know. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. <sighs> this is a sign. It doesn't matter. Are you fine? Sir, everything okay, sir? Mr. Daniel, what's going on? Look, look, uh, I'm sorry, thank you, but the services will no longer be needed. What, what happened? How does God want us to walk with Him? How does God want us to make this race to the end. God wants us to be perfect as He is perfect. Praise the Lord. I can't do this. There are many. Of course you can. You can't bury your sins, else the prince of this world would hold such against you forever. It is difficult. The outcome of sin is more than difficult to bear. A public shame to the world is better than a shame to God. Choose wisely. I would. I would love to have this recorded. It is a public confession. My confession. <sighs> I am sorry. I, I cannot be trusted. I have sinned. I have sinned. I have committed a grievous offense against God and his people. I have beaten more than I can chew. I don't know how to put this, but I know the Holy Spirit will help me. It is quite unfortunate, but also still very fortunate that things have to turn out this way. Jesus. It is important that I do this. Not minding the words of men, but seeking an approval from God. That is all that matters. To obey is better than sacrifice. And to hearken at the fight of rams, I... People of God, 
This is my confession. It becomes easier when you trust me, when you lean on me, when you depend on me. Speak, for your father is giving you utterance. Beginning the mission after finishing the university was a very prosperous one. They were, we've gone for several ministrations, taking territories for Jesus and, you know, subdued kingdoms. I, all these began from a position that I had as the fellowship president of my tenure on campus. Beautiful time indeed. I, I believe the expressions of the Holy Spirit back then got into my head and so I was I became confused. I failed to listen to further instructions from God, but decided to follow the instructions of my peers and colleagues. And I was I was pushed to to begin a pastoral ministry. When <laughs> it was evident that God had cleared, clearly warned me against this. Oh, Holy Spirit! It is scary that for two years in the ministry two years and more I have been moving based on my own power and strength and it got to a point when I saw that things were not moving as fast as I expected them to I I went diabolical Holy Ghost I ignored my father in the faith and I took on following other fathers that I felt their progression in the ministry was so fast I wanted to know what they knew and I decided to do what they did when knowing fully well that it was against God's ordinance oh God I didn't I didn't have an idea about how diabolical it was until I began and it was bondage I kept on doing things, renewing, and just to make sure that my fame will never go down. I did not know it was a hook I couldn't be free from. All the fame and popularity or everything I desired, I got them all at the expense of my soul. It was so passionate, it was so strong in me. I knew that God was no longer with me on this journey, but my pride would not let me be. Pride. I felt that my authoritative ego as a man of God in that sense was going to be bruised if I came out publicly to confess and then resign from every pastoral duties. I lost it after position and I got it. I lost it after fame, I got it. I lost it after money, I got it. But all this, I have lost touch. In all this, I found out that I had lost touch with the creator of the race himself, which is God. And so, it is official. The ministry will be dissolved and I would push back every form of invitations, both home and abroad. Everything will be cancelled from now henceforth. I just desire to be with my father. I know that God is more particular about my life than the ministry has committed into my hands. And taking full cognizance of that, I have decided to take care of what is inside of me rather than what I am doing. The Lord is saying expressly that there are people here, workers, ministers, members that are serving in a place where the Lord has not called them to serve. And just like me, you have done all manner of things to justify that God has called you when indeed God has not called you to such service. I'm here to tell you that that service is not acceptable in the sight of God and that you return to your first love. Please. The Lord loves you and that's why he does this for us. He chastises us, rebukes us and brings us to repentance. He says like me, he has been speaking to you to obey him, obey his voice. But your heart has been hardened. 
the Lord wants to give you a heart of flesh. Let your inner man be resurrected to listen to the voice of the Lord and stand up. Stand up, come forward and be prayed for. The, the Lord still desires you. He still desires your sacrifice. He still desires your service for his kingdom. But first, your life is important to him. It is important to him. Today might be my last Sunday as a pastor, but definitely it is the beginning of my liberation from the flesh. Now it is time to freshen up, get new clothes and become a new man. Whenever man sins, he dies on the inside. When he fails to confess his sins, his situation worsens as he is unable to walk in life. More death is inevitable. Thank God for Daniel. You also take that big step of faith that you may be accepted of God even if it means rejection from men.